Welcome, everybody, to a new episode of Wall Smashers, bringing the most interesting people on the internet together because of the uh-huh. internet. So tonight, I am mm-hmm. joined with new member. Well, God, I can't fucking speak English today. I'm joined with Burns, a new Let's member go. of Wall Smashers, to replace some of the other members that were fired <laughs> slash let go slash had to tantrum and quit. And longtime ghost member of the show, Victor Burns. <laughs> I'm not new. I just haven't been here before. Like, been... <laughs> oh, okay. So that's the whole thing. I think I, th- I think I, I replaced Asher's. Y'all fucking with my Because she had a schizo like... moment in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was like the timeline of all this was that Asher's quit after the Echo Tragedy episode because their friendship broke up. Even though those two started together being like, what we know each other and then it was ironic that like they had a fucking fallen out on the show yeah she's then, i i asked her if she wanted to come back and she flat out told me no no she's oh, like yeah. done with that guy yeah she's like she's like echo lied to me and did a bunch of shit and i'm just done and i'm like oh okay well if you change your mind in the future come on back i, I liked asher's to be honest she brought well she, she was very mellow for the show i'll be honest she didn't know like a lot of like the commentary spur drama but she okay. was always down to give her opinion about something, which was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Burns, your commentary, your sm- well, small commentary, yeah. commentary, you're up and rising. You've been in some uh, few debates. People know the pumpkin, and uh, the Victor pumpkin, Burns, man. you're you're known for uh, commentary as well. I for, mean, uh, I dip my toes in it, yes, every once in a while. <laughs> and, and Emmy, bro, let's go. No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hey, hey, Echo can't it. stop talking about it. Hey, Echo can't, you know, stop hearing about it, you know. You know he, yeah, Echo but tragedy can't like, suffer that, alone. That, that dead horse is fucking glue, guys. But I, like, I think the allegations, though, like, our against evidence? Victor were a lot more, like, concerning than, like, Echo. That that was, like, the problem with, like, the, like, why Victor they weren't was, even, like, They weren't even valid, truth. I'm not, I'm not certain the fl- I'm just saying, like, how it comes off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah bad like, way. Get... Don't, make me, don't make me come up there to the fucking neighboring countries and have a conversation with you. Let's go. Uh-huh. <laughs> you gotta get out of your <laughs> chair to do that one. No. Yeah, yeah, right? I gotta get out of this comfy-ass chair. I can't do it. All right. You, you've already won. So, guys, it has been a very interesting week. We've had a lot of dramas. We've had... Yes. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, Huggy rejoined the show after quitting the show because Rev quit the show, which is arguably something we're probably going to talk about tonight. As oh, but it's yeah. not here! <laughs> no, Huggy, yeah, uh, I got where the hell is Huggy, bro? Like, cause like I want to talk to him about the meltdown shit, cause meltdown's having a schizo moment about Huggy right now. <laughs> no, why? What's I don't know. What all is Milt? Uh, what is Cause, cause meltdown's calling like been... Huggy a double, like like a two faced liar snake or some other bullshit? Because Huggy was on send stream last night, which I was there. No, like yeah, we could get I into the rev shit. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't catch a lot of that shit, but I know that Huggy and Rev were going at it again. And then like literally the the night before, like me, Sin, Slug, and a whole bunch of people were in fucking with with Rev in Huggy's chat and Huggy was being all like cool with him and shit. So I'm like, bro, like I was gonna ask him about that if he was here. It's like, bro, are you what are you, are you reacting to things that are going on? Or because it seems like you're going at people like pick a side like or or are you just like i i don't know man are you just reacting to news as you get it i don't know i have i'm I'm starting to develop issues with huggy myself but like so um, all this every all the stuff people are going at huggy about is all stuff huggy has been like accused of doing in the past or maybe not issues but i have my concerns about him but like so when i was like I was asking around a few people like what their issues were with Huggy because for a while the Parking Tigers group were like chill with Huggy and then all of a sudden they're not chill with him anymore. I was like, when the fuck did that happen? And then I'm hearing all these different conflicting arguments and all it sounds like everyone's biggest problem with Huggy right now is he's doing what he's been accused of doing in the past, which is saying one thing to one group of people and then going to a different group of people and saying another thing. I'm not surprised by this. This this is normal stuff. However, okay. I know a lot of people are upset by it, and especially with uh, last week's Turd Island, Huggy went really, really hard on Rev. We were yes. there. 
Well, yeah, yeah, but that was because Rev was doing a bunch of shit. Well, that was because Rev was doing his his thing against everybody on Chathonic Echoes fucking stream too. Yeah, no, but you had, had a lot of poured over. You had a you had a bombardment of a fucking like <laughs> ar- like argument with him, bro. That was entertaining as fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, he had to he had to come back and apologize for the things he said because he knew he was in the wrong. Like, I don't have anything against Rev now. We talked about on the Huggy like on Huggy's fucking chat and shit and he told me, "Look, I realized the thing I said about like Emmy and the whole situation, what I was trying to say was yeah. not correct." And it, and I'm not an unreasonable person. Like if you're going at me, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to hit you hard in the moment, but after it's okay. over, like if you come to me and you say, "Look, I realized I was wrong about that." Like I'm going to go like, "Okay. Cool." And okay. we'll fix it. So part of the thing too though is I heard like Huggy did all that shit on Turd Island. I was there, I saw that, and then I heard he went onto a slug stream and then said like the opposite, which is what pissed a lot of people off. Now I know like oh, everyone. No. Are you are online. you talking about the are you talking about the slug stream that happened like two nights ago? I don't or, know. No, it I wasn't that, a slug, I, it wasn't a slug stream, it was Huggy stream. Oh, okay, maybe that's it. It was it was me, Sin, Huggy, and Slug was on it too. And then, Whenever like, I think other people. Can, like, you just hear, it's like, oh, so it's you're telling slug. me, hold on, you're telling me that Huggy flip flopped again? Because well, last night, on, last I night, I on Slay, and 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 everybody now. had their conversations with him when we were discussing, like, what, where he was messing up and, and et cetera, et cetera. And it, it was a, it was a cool, kosher, like, calm, civil conversation. And then I guess the next night, there was a like last night there was a huge another huge blowout with yes. sin doing stuff and that like it went back to i don't know if it was huggy and rev fighting again i don't know like huggy would have oh, to be here uh, to explain it but the i thing mean i was is, there is that, the thing is is that and, and and this bothers me the whole thing the whole thing was slug fucking yelling about darcy for like two hours straight and uh-huh. on Huggy's fucking stream, and it seemed like Huggy was just trying to be a people pleaser just a little bit. So he was going in it with like, I feel like less energy. I don't okay. know if it was because maybe I'm maybe I'm not realizing, but maybe it was because Slug was the one that was going like to war that whole fucking stream and everybody else is just because like anymore, man, when Slug runs his fucking mouth, I just roll my eyes and leave it alone. Like I just I, I just. I'm not wrangling that tart anymore. That's not. I've been happening. dealing with Slug like, for that's three not, years. That's not. That's yeah, not. Well, yeah. yeah, when Slug goes off, there's really nothing. That's that like banging your head them. against a brick wall repeatedly and expecting the so, fucking. Like, it's not happening. I mean, I could find an Echo stream like five days ago before the Turd Island. Slug was going hard on Ember. That's normal. Yeah, though. That's like, yeah and that's yeah. normal. <laughs> yeah. The guy, the guy can't, the guy can't fucking function without a, without somebody to fight or somebody to, to, yeah. you know, make some, no, in some Slug cases, without, look, make, talk about. without fucking, without making himself look like a victim. So here, uh, like, I guess Bird this is, here, this like, is, a, this is a Earth. slug stream. This is a slug stream for me real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Badrick. This is no, a slug sorry. stream the way I see it. He's either yelling about people that he hates. And screaming uh-huh. about how they're the biggest pieces of shit, and he would he hopes they do this and this had bad happen to, him, or he's whining about how everybody else is fucking making him a victim, or nobody nobody listens to him, and blah blah blah. And how he's always right. It's 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 so fucking ridiculously <clears throat> stupid. I don't have any personal problems with Slug Man, but I just see I just see his content and I see what he does, and it just makes me step back sometimes and go, yeah, no. It's his grift. He he's known for it at this point. I think you're you're mm. like naive if you go in and expect anything else. Yeah, well, it's fucking like, it's grating and it's old. In all honesty, like whatever. That's fair. And I'm, I'm sure like, I'm I'm sure he'll fire up a stream about me, and that's fine. He can say whatever. I react to everything I do. Every turn island, every wall smasher, slug reacts to. So <laughs> no sl- slug. Like he talks about Ember. He talks about Steve Deleve. He talks about Maya Moore, and then insert new topic. Yeah, he's done it. He's he's gone on these cycles forever it's like and half that, these people don't thing. even care about him anymore i wouldn't say that i think like slug is very good at getting underneath of people's skin that allows him to like i don't know I, like it, like he gets under ember skin absolutely, absolutely. And they fight. maya doesn't give a shit about him anymore i don't isn't think steve like, gives a shit about him like though like yeah by, like, that's also yeah like, that's oh. basically what i believe she did like he still talks about her, but dude, she got all her legal stuff done, and that's she doesn't care anymore. Like I still talk, talk to her from time to time. Yes, Absolutely. from time to time. I still oh, go. Okay. I go into her kick streams. I never had an issue with Maya. 
Like, okay. I understand that there was a big fucking thing and, and there was a lot and things were happening and, you know, a lot of stuff happened with, with all of that. But I always came at that as a neutral. That's why I did the interview that Rev tried to go at me about. Like, <laughs> oh, you interviewed Maya Moore. So? What was his take? Why was he like? I had rap, a conversation rap, well, that was, with somebody uh, that was, was, was in the having... community news. He was just spurging out, man. He was trying yeah. to. Find well, he brought, well, from what I was aware and like from what I've heard, because I saw I jumped in at the end of a uh, Cathonic stream before Turd Island, just to like listen to it, and I was talking to Cathonic a bit um, before I did Turd Island. But um, I heard he was just throwing fucking balls at everybody. Like he yeah. brought up like my shit with Leia, which was like for no fucking reason. Like yeah, like, he was like, just he was just wide like... he was just swinging wide at everyone, man. He called me a if you bad get person, if you got bro. clipped, you got clipped. Like... <laughs> Wait, birds, what? He called me a bad person. You are a bad hurt. <laughs> what are you? I'm not about? a bad person. I just don't You're give a, a shit about your person. feelings, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Uh, I Burns want to talk about um the Milltown thing currently then that's like new and like ongoing right now before we get into that i want to ask you guys has your opinion on the darcy situation changed entirely because i'll be I'll, I'll answer first for all of you i think they're both fucked i don't yes. think i think darcy could have stopped giving rev money at any point and that the money darcy gave rev you know what i mean it, like rev realistically doesn't have to pay darcy back no now and I darcy do... at any time could have said I'm not interested in giving you money. Right. Bro. And, and, and Darcy's full mental health. But at the right. same time, like I, I still hold by my point where I think like Rev was like, absolutely like, you know, taking advantage of this individual as well. Yes, um, yes. I, I, and I like, I just think Rev's more of a douchebag than anything. And I will give Rev like the, like kudos that like, at least the guy fucking faces it. And I don't hate Rev or anything. And I'll say like, everyone has been going at Rev. Um, I also think neither of them are like, creditable narrators for their uh -huh. situations both both their stories are like you can look at that shit and it's full of holes well look i don't have i don't have anything against darcy in general but the two brain hemorrhages thing that happened that killed all your credibility like, I, I don't have issues with either like, though it's, it's just you know what i mean when you if, if, you, if, if everybody was busting it. out darcy about that Right, everybody was busting out Darcy about the auto accident and 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 having these cl claiming they had two brain hemorrhages and were in the hospital, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. But yet they come on to a chat the next day and they're fighting with people and going <laughs> under all this stress. And it's just let me tell you something: if you had two brain hemorrhages, your ass would not be on anything. You would be laying in a hospital bed for at least oh, a week. I, I'm like well that's just, that's that just not. Yeah. So <laughs> that right there killed Darcy's credibility. So. I know Darcy is, is, is posting DMs and everything and, and all yeah. of that, and that's fine. But Darcy is a grown-ass human being. Mental health issues or not. You could have yeah. easily told people, look, I'm sorry you're going through this issue. I can make, uh, like, I, I'm sorry you're going through this issue. I'm sorry your Christmas is going to suck or whatever, but I'm not giving you any money. Yeah, like, right? this, is, this is just over. No, this is just over. Them. Just fucking not because that's the, that's the case, off. right? They were, not, they were not together or talking to each other or friends anymore when they asked for money, correct? Yeah. Like that was it. I think so. No, it was over, right? No, no, Bur Bur no, Burns. No. Or was it not? Was that not Burns. the case? Were they friends? That's not the case at all. They were yeah. technically they've been doing this since November, according to Rev last night on Send Stream. I was there on yeah, Send Stream. Like Send kept booting you from the call. So to be honest, you didn't hear most of the context. That yeah, I know. Feeling. I had a sore throat yesterday. Uh, I was still recovering, couldn't talk. So Sen yeah. Uh, apparently, it's, like it's, they've it's, been doing this to Darcy since mid-november where they were like they would at like they would send pictures of empty cupboards and fridges That's to darcy awesome. um asking like is this mostly broadsword to be honest more than okay. rev and definitely during, two again yeah broadsword broadsword is his wife ex-wife housemate whatever yeah okay. it's, it's like like they they're separated but not like officially divorced i think okay yes yeah. Uh definitely around Christmas time, Broadsword was manipulating Darcy into giving them money for Christmas presents. Uh and during those screenshots, I mean I got some screenshots from someone else. Uh Darcy was mad in love with them since November. And the screenshots that we have now, Dar Rev was completely complicit and very like engaged with it. He was that's even though what he, I was saying. I he was can like, say like all oh, platonic all I want. I love you for who you are, the person, the <laughs> being. <laughs> There's no one else I can love more than you. Like, damn, man, this is platonic, by the way. 
but yeah, no, Victor Burns. Uh, up until mm. last month, yeah, they they they've been uh, more than friends. <laughs> And then February first, when we like we all had that private call in the in the GC here that flatly recorded, and Rev was boasting how he knew everything more than everyone else, and Ember, of, Ember did the horrible thing of questioning him, and he had that spurg out. That's when Darcy mm. was messaging Ember about everything. So That's when slippery. when Rev- why was why was Darcy messaging Ember specifically? Ember didn't really give an answer to that. I mean, that's something you have to ask Ember. But yeah, Ember did. I'm, I, heard but Ember, the, I heard some of that on the sin conversation, but like, yeah, but I didn't Ember, know why she was involved specifically. I know she said something. Oh, I think I, Ember I, was talking to like Darcy in November around the same time because Darcy was asking about like poly polyamorous relationships. Yeah. That's oh, what yeah, Ember's okay. in. yeah, yeah, that's what she said. But she's Darcy, in one too, but so Darcy did curious. not name drop Rev and Broadsword. So at that point, Ember didn't know what they were talking about up until February first, when okay. Rev had that fucking scream out and Darcy and retardedly it and, and Darcy retardedly entered the call in the hospital, quote unquote. <laughs> the most most retarded that you could that do. That was the brain an allegation, correct? <laughs> yes, that was the brain okay. conversation that uh, flatly recorded. Um. But Darcy initiated the conversation with Ember. It wasn't the other way around that Reb is trying to push. Okay. And for another big bombshell, last night uh, it came out to Darcy sending another mo- like a money order to Rev. And remember, on last bat on last Turd Island, Rev did say he closed. He he said that he closed down the account. The account will not take any money from Darcy. It took money from Darcy last oh, night. Oh, that, that shit. Wait, wait, whoa, killed. hold on, that hold shit on. That killed me though on Turn Island when we're like, you, me, and uh, Katonic are like, you, you can deny the tra- like the, the fucking e transfer. <laughs> he was yeah. like, no, you that's can't. What I was, that's the big. That's yeah, that like a big like, thing I had. I, he was like, like, I don't know how to do. I can't do. It. I'm like, you can't go to a teller and say, hey, uh, here's a situation. I don't want money from this person anymore. Please put yeah. a, like, some tellers will put a block on th- that account. But remember, remember, on Turn Island, he said he did do that, finally, because Ember so, told him to do so it. So, Darcy but, sent him money, what, again last night? or the Last night. night. This is new so last he night. It to, like, bust him out, or hold because on, he on. wanted more money? Motherfucker. Go ahead. Darcy last night did send him another thirty to a hundred, three hundred dollars, and it went through. So he lied on Turd Island. He didn't close down the account. He didn't block Why? transfers. Why did Darcy? Because he was a money? liar. Because he. <laughs> That's the problem with both of them. In this no, story. no, no. What I want to know is what was the what was the context of Darcy sending that money? Is it because Darcy Reb wanted asked see... for more money, or no, 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 no. Darcy wanted Darcy to see... wanted to, Darcy wanted to see. If he actually closed down the account, so she sent another money order, and it went through. At this point, Rev just hustled now, though. At this point, so mm. like, uh, Darcy like, said, said, like it's a how... good way to check. It, it really Darcy is. Said, like Darcy said, three hundred dollars. According to the screenshot that Ember sent last night, yes, another. $300. Whoa! You can't spend ten bucks. <laughs> Why would you send three hundred, you dumb dumb? Why just ten bucks? <laughs> Yo, Rev that's why I'm like. That's why you said three hundred. I'm like, bro, are they still talking? Is he still trying oh to get money? God. Like, what, like that's what the you don't send three hundred dollars on a check unless you're a fucking complete potato head. Like, what? I'd send you ten both, bucks both, and be like, keep it. They're both fucked up, like narrators in this situation. That that's the yeah. problem with this whole thing, and like. I do think Turd Island was a very like pro Darcy, anti Rev stream, and then after that like specific stream, stuff started to go into more Rev's favor. I I think they're both fucked in this yes. situation. To be honest, I, th- I don't I have think they're anything both idiots. personal against them, but I think they're both fucked. In this. Like, the, like they're, like they're the playing big, games. With yeah, each other. the biggest thing I will say right now is Darcy, stop sending this fucking these two idiots money. Rev, close down your fucking bank account. Both of you stop talking to each other. Because honestly, but, like, at this Rev point, like though, at this point, like why why would Rev have to close his bank account if Darcy's just still sending money though? Darcy, Do stop mean, sending him money. He just got three hundred bucks last night. Jesus Christ! That's what Burns is saying. Like Darcy, I have the, I have the screenshot. To yeah, prove Darcy it. sent him money to see if the account was closed. 
And then he like he just got fucking 300 bucks. Like at this point, Rev is just fucking hustling. Why would he shut it down? He admitted on Turd Island he doesn't give a fuck about any of that. Yeah. Like he he yeah. really does. He said he felt bad. And to be fair, I'll take I actually believe it. He probably does feel bad for like taking money. But also I like what like there's nothing legally like so, so the moral of the story is darcy will keep giving someone that they dated uh money or had a romantic i don't know i still think there's something okay darcy I, you want to date i, I, I need money i need my bills paid you want to date you want to you want to hit me up dms slide it no i'm just yeah I, I saw that bro yeah <laughs> uh, side chat. It, it's fucking reindeer games you know what i mean though like they're yeah, in the side play games of each other yeah in the side chat i did show that 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 was what we got from darcy last night Sent to That's Ember wild. to us. What uh, you did for <laughs> <laughs> so But also, Rev had a fucking huge spurg out. That's why I'm like, like when you guys are telling me about like Huggy back and forth, I'm like surprised because Huggy had another fucking Very W too, domination on Rev last Let's night on Sendstream. Uh because Rev went at Huggy, Huggy again, and Huggy just wasn't having it. But the Rev got angry at all of us, Cathonic, uh. The Echo Tragedy, Sen for some reason, Huggy and me because we were believing Darcy and the other narrative. He's pretty fucking mellow to be. Yeah, fair. but he was saying that we were we're all doing one sided narratives and we're all asking him, including Sen at the end, like, could you just provide any evidence? And he's saying, I don't have to provide evidence to you guys. Why would I? And but then, that, like, his story's always been that though. Even on, I'll give him credit too. Like Turd Island and Cathonic Stream. It was a very much like let's go shit on Rev, but it's because he was so fucking hostile to everyone else in that. Yeah, yeah. well, it's like, like I said, but, it was pour over. Like from, but he like, also, like but he also can't cry about like out of context like narratives no. when we're asking yeah. him to give us context on his side of things, and all he's saying is, "Why don't you believe my word?" It's like, yeah, no, you're I absolutely have, right. My People... policy on this fucking internet shit is, I don't believe anyone's hey. word without that a fucking screenshot everything. to back it up. You know, like but it's no, ab you're <laughs> absolutely right. If you're going to make a claim about something and say that you can prove it, you better fucking prove it. Like, otherwise, oh, you're going like to look like a yeah, dodo like head. the last night stream that you were on, bro. Yeah, what's up? You yeah, missed dude. a lot. Show the base. Rev, Rev, <laughs> the problem with Rev in this whole situation, because like I said, after Turd Island and Cathonic stream last week, people during the week started to be more sympathetic to Rev. As from what I noticed, like following Twitter and following some of these streams, Rev's biggest fucking issue is he keeps entering these fucking streams and fighting with people where he actually should just shut the fuck up about this. Yeah. In my opinion. If Rev shut the yeah. fuck up about this, people would stop fucking pointing at him. You know what I mean? People, and people, people would, would get bored of the whole Darcy. situation. Well, I don't know. I mean, Darcy, there's the best throwing a lot of shit out there though. So people Well no, but the best thing he could do him. is just like if he joins the stream, just say, Hey, look. The reason I'm fucking pissed off is like all my shit's getting aired out in, in public and I don't want to fucking talk about it. But the thing is, every stream he goes on, he'll be on for two hours trying to relitigate why he did nothing wrong and why everyone's a disingenuous little piece of shit. Well, he, and like he's actively will lie point. about it. He, he's Well, that's what uh, Burns is saying. That he's been caught in like a few lies now. Yeah. He, like he the biggest lie the that I hate that he, the biggest lie I hate is that he calls me a liar. Because I actually say what he said in the fucking call. And the only reason why he knows he can lie about it is because the call's not recorded. But I was trying to say, like, okay, well, me, Ember, and, like, a third person were in there. Mm. And the third person, I didn't even know who the fuck it was. And it turns out it was K-Huck. K-Huck was in the call. And before he even gets to say that it was fake on a Turd Island, wow. K-Huck was like, wait, yeah, you did say that. I was there. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, she was there. K-Huck tore into him. Like, I don't know if it was, was it Turd Island? It had to be, yeah. Joined, she joined the chat, man, and she tore into him. I think, yeah. Uh, My favorite uh, moment yeah. from K Huck that stream was when she was like, I would know I'm cuck too. <laughs> fucking dude, dude, dude she so fucked fucking up funny. so hard. <laughs> dude, dude, for one for 10 seconds, Rev didn't exist, and me and Flally just looked at her like, dude, you fucked up. Fuck was <laughs> fucking quiet when she said that. Dude, she picked <laughs> dude, she picked the one subject that we could like totally Ooh. kneel on her for. And she didn't, even, dude. She didn't even need to say anything, dude. She could have just be quiet and never. The, the stream would have kept going. Hey, Huck's too nice to play in the shit I play in, to be honest. Yeah, it's uh. It's... The the funnier part was the fact that Zylie's in chat. Like, hey, Huck, no. <laughs> like, right. hey, Huck, why did you do that? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Uh, since Echo, jo I want to. Uh, I'll I'll re say the question. So, how has your opinion on this situation changed? Was arguably like what I asked everyone 
currently because like i said like just to give you like a quick thing i basically think both parties are fucked and now like i think like darcy needs to just like kind of lay off and stop giving fucking rev money at this point and i think yeah. rev still was manipulative and of uh, like taken advantage of darcy but like both are unreliable narrators in my opinion in this situation and i yeah. do think they're just playing fucking games with each other i think darcy's playing games i think rev's playing games that's where i stand like, I don't yeah. feel bad for Darcy at all, but the thing is, like, Rev's trying to act like he's, like, superior, when it's like, dude, you guys are playing in the shit fucking pond together, and you're trying to say you have no shit on top of you or anything, when you're, like, drenched in it. Like, not you're not only are you drenched in it, you could wash it all off, and you still smell the shit off of you. You can't act like, superior. He, he's acting so, like, superior <laughs> that he's, like, somehow better than everyone else. And, like, I don't want to bring up, like, any, like, the personal shit that we were saying in that, uh, that sand yeah. stream, because it got to the point where, I'm not gonna lie, I went so bad at that was going so hard at him and like we were all going so hard at him at the end of the fucking recording he like dude he kind of sounded like suicidal and like i felt a little bad and i'm like hey bro like i started trying to make it like a little joke like hey bro you good like we're not gonna have to call like a wellness check right yeah that's all the end yeah at the end of the call he sounded like he was about to cry (laughs) but but, but you know what i mean though like arguably he calls into these streams a lot so this is something he invests a lot of time into. And before all this Darcy shit came out, he was just known as being like a contrarian Spurg. Nothing real, you know what I mean? His biggest fucking fights were Ember. But then like having this blow up about your personal life is a fucking lot. That's why I'm surprised he keeps coming back to it. Well, it's like, not even just that. that. Yeah, it's not even just that. It's like the reason why I know that she, like the Darcy, you know, fucking his ex-wife is such a big deal. Because Slug used to talk about fucking her all the time, and he would make a big deal about, like, oh, dude, he's trying to, like, have sex with my wife, dude. Like, he's trying to get in my personal life. And it's like, okay, wait, but I thought, like, that didn't matter. Like, if she has sex with Slug, like, apparently, like, it doesn't matter if if Darcy does it. But all of a sudden, you care who she's fucking, despite the fact you have no, like, say in any of the manner. That's why I knew he was a, like, he actually is emotionally cucked at the very least. That that is fucking damaged goods. Yeah, she's literally fucking other people, and it's causing them so much fucking... Wait, fucking broadsword fucked? No, like he would oh, mention about wanting to fuck her all the oh, fucking time, okay. and like, oh yeah, dude, like I can call her up and fuck because they were friends. Like Slug and her are still friends. Oh my god, they've been friends this whole time that fucking Rev's been beefing with Slug. Yeah, cause Slug, but Slug is like pro Rev in this though, isn't he? And like kind of fuck Darcy. <clears throat> yeah, but him and Rev used to beef all the fucking time. Yeah. And yeah, like Rev was basically trying to say that, like he tried to frame it that that Rev that uh Slug was trying to like find out his personal life by like harassing his wife, but his wife was fucking Slug's friend. Brutal. Jesus. Brutal. But, like when I first heard about it, I didn't know that fucking Broadsword was an online person. I thought it was like some private person that Slug found out through like doxing or something. And it turns out no, she's literally in his server. She was a mod of Slugs at one point. Like, dude, she was literally like fucking like on Slug's dick more than anyone else's like it was like that like that's how close she was to slug and he tried to frame it like differently i see that's what happens when irl meets the internet and shit collides nothing yeah. good other than when i meet flatly irl i'm gonna beat the shit out of that guy but other than that nah, he, nah he's gonna kill you bro no nah, flatly's like <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure i'm bigger than flatly i'm like taller than him you're no, the I, same size. He's like six. Yeah, he's like six one, six two. I put money on yeah, Flatley, like bro. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Flatley's probably in better shape, but I'm pretty sure Badwick has like more mass. Yeah, let's be honest. Also, I'm not afraid to fucking throw my shit at someone. I'll cover myself in urine and shit and just like dive at someone. So like, I'll scratch at their fucking body. So <laughs> motherfucker, get, like, biological infected. warfare over here. Exactly. Right? Nah, I, no, I, you I'm can't do that, dude. I've but... always thought like, dude, imagine someone gets naked during a fucking fight. I'm like, dude, honestly, I'm so, like, unfazed by, like, naked people. I would probably, like, dude, I'd be, like, the dirtiest fighter during that shit. Like, dude, you really took off all your clothes and just now a fucking nut shot is going to fucking hurt, like, on contact. Well, I'd come out flatly in my fucking, like, thong thing. Like, I'd come out like a <laughs> fucking bush. I'd paint my No, no notice how bad it, Badwick doesn't wear underwear. He wears thongs, right? No, I dude. do. All right. I like the way <laughs> they feel. <laughs> Uh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Speaking about whatever. thongs. All right, speaking about thongs. Burns, I was you wouldn't gonna... know until you try one. 
Okay, speaking about thongs, right? I was in a previous Discord call before I joined this because um, I just got off off of work, and like uh-huh. Echo, Casonic Echo was tagging me, and I'm like, okay, what could this be about? Did you hear what happened the last few days, Badwick, with Ivana? No. Okay, before we go on to that Echo, I do yeah. want to touch on uh, Milltown because Burns wants to talk about Milltown. Oh, okay, perfect. Do, uh, I don't know nothing yes. about this. All um, right, Burns, this is on you. Uh, Milltown has been like spurging at hard at fucking uh Huggy the past couple days. I do have let me get my phone and I'll send you all the screenshots in the side chat. Uh, like he's like, like remember Turd Island? He was like with Huggy, defending Huggy, going at fucking yeah. Rev for and like Darcy and Darcy's honor. But now all of a sudden it's a fucking problem. Uh, when Huggy defends himself from Rev. I mean, I'm going to send it in the side chat for context. Uh, one cent, two cent, three cent on the side chat here. Um, the first tweet goes, Huggy's a fucking idiot. No, one's, no one has said that. What a fucking two-faced guy. Jeez. I have no problems with Sen. Because this is what happened last night. Huggy came in and ruined Rev again. Uh, he was one of the decent ones and on that stream. I don't give a fuck who takes control of anyone's stream. Just makes you look like a shit host, Huggy. My problem with Huggy is that he's he was being two faced and Slug was saying super out of pocket shit, which is what he does to just stick at this point. Stop trying to create narratives, Huggy. There was no like narratives Huggy was making last night. Darcy responds. He's like one of the most two faced people I've talked to. Mel Tau's response, talk about playing the victim. Huggy seems to be taking the cake. Huggy also goes on about suicide baiting. Now this is what got me eye opening, as if he himself didn't take didn't just bait the community a few months ago just because you call him my romance my chemical romance tweets doesn't mean shit, bro. You did the same shit. Now I'm gonna ask, because I wasn't really around that time. Did Huggy suicide bait? So I think the so, consensus was it's they're back like this was uh around christmas time and it it's, it was like was in october after, wasn't it this yeah, was, it was the world war, huggy world war shit. Huggy. yeah it, it was, was during after, the it was, was in the after. middle of the echo emmy drama yeah was it <laughs> or no Anyways, it was right it was, before it was it, sometime I did around dream. there and he was making these um i like i i'm gonna say cryptic like cryptic for like the sake of conversation tweets that sounded like they were like depressing self-harm tweets mm. um when approached by a Huggy is like their lyrics to songs and blah blah blah, which they are, they are people fact check they are lyrics to songs that he was posting, but okay, it was like then, at no. the same time all this drama was going because I compared it to um like when you're like 13 years old and like you fucking break up with your girlfriend, you post all that depressing shit on your fucking Facebook. Yeah, that's not suicide. That, that's baby. what it reminded me of. Like, that's that's like, that's okay. That's kids, that's like, fucking, fucking yeah depressing shit. That's okay. that may be an be being an emo little bitch, but that is not suicide baiting. Well, and, no, no, no. I can actually explain why people thought it was suicide baiting, because part of it wasn't just like the tweets weren't just like what's the word? It wasn't just like sad posting. Like I'm pretty sure Huggy did intend to like kill himself that day. The problem is that so How? after he posts those, he ends up in Rum server, and then he ends up like talking to Rum for like. A few hours, and then he basically like blames people who didn't reach out to him. Like he blamed okay. Maggot, despite that Maggot had her Twitter deleted for that time. And then he started blaming like other people not reaching out to them, saying they were fake friends and stuff. Okay. So here's a question I have to ask: Did Huggy at any time, with any evidence that anyone knows of in any chat or any Twitter thing, ever say out loud or type out loud or whatever the fuck, I'm going to hurt myself or or I have a dead, quote. or I'm I'm taking myself out or et cetera, et cetera. Yes I have no. a quote from someone in that call. Huggy okay. said, hey, this guy killed himself the other day, and I don't want to say that I want to kill myself, but I feel just like that guy. That's not... I don't feel like that's suicide baiting. Well, if, no, no. Well, that, but the intention was it, to get he, sympathy. Okay, sure. That might be uh, uh, might be being like a little emo bitch to be, to get sympathy. But if he's saying I'm not going to kill myself, I would take that at face value. Like, yeah, but I mean, if he says that I I don't feel like I want to kill myself, then compares to he feels like the guy who ended up killing himself, like using some other guy's like death to like elevate like his quote unquote emotions. I think that I would say that's suicide baiting. 
Slug mm. said that was suicide baiting. Like most of the people came to the consensus that he was suicide baiting. I personally yeah. think that you know, at the end of the day, like maybe he was suicide baiting, but at, like he probably did have those feelings. It's just it just seemed like he was wanting going for sympathy more than actually having like a mental issue. It was like a I one stage. Like, I feel pressure. like suicide baiting is just basically telling people that you're gonna do it, like. I th- I think saying I empathize with this person or I, or I understand what this person felt like at this time or et cetera, et cetera. I think that could be construed in different ways. I don't I don't necessarily think that that's what's that. Now I'm not trying to sweep for Huggy or anything. Yeah, no, no. I mean, you're being charitable at I the just, very least. I just I yeah, just... I, maybe I am being charitable, but I just feel like also I feel like suicide baiting is a hard. Uh, there's a hard line to it. Like I I I, I feel like I feel like. A lot of people, like, people might say something being, like, a little bit of an emo bitch because, like, they're having, like, a spurg out or whatever. And people take that as, like, oh, he's, he's threatening to do this or he's going to do this or he's, you know, he's on suicide watch or whatever the fuck. And yeah. it becomes, oh, he's a suicide baiter and blah, 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 blah. Like, I saw Huggy said something about, well, I hope people remember me as, as you know, this type of guy and not this type of guy. And a lot of people were like, from the beginning, I thought a lot of people had said that was what they thought was suicide baiting. But to me, that it just seems like a tipster thing. Like, I'm just fucking leaving the internet and I'm not coming back. You know, don't, well, don't it, think of me it, as this guy. Think of me as this guy. I would Maybe probably right. agree. Maybe I'm doing, being too charitable. but I would probably agree if he didn't say, like, the next day that Rum basically, like, saved his life. Oh shit! Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. All I don't right. know if it was the day after, but um, someone tried shitting on Rum in his chat, and he basically, hey, like, leave Rum alone. Like, Rum saved my life. Hmm. Like, Rum's <sighs> good people. Okay. And like, well, I, in that I, case, I'm not gonna even shit on Huggy because, like, together, like, like we've all like I've been through shit where like there was times when like I probably did suicide bait, but like if the intention was like real. I just you know, fucking like grew the fucking pair of balls and say, hey, dude, I'm being fucking retarded right now. Instead of like trying to think through, I'm being irrational. Yeah. 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 And that's it why just, I, I, that's I just why feel, like, I just feel right like that's now. just a stupid yeah, thing. Yeah, it kind of does suck because I'm pretty sure Huggy did probably feel that, but like I don't think Huggy probably would have went through with it. Imagine backing yourself I, I, I over internet like, shit. Yeah, like, I, I do think there's obviously like reactionary reasons for why he did it. I bet you he wanted to post it. Sympathy posting, you know what I mean? I bet you he was feeling shitty after all that drama. He made the tweet because I'm pretty sure he deleted it, didn't he? Uh, no, I, I can't remember. remember. I can check, but I, I don't. Remember. I don't know. He he might have deleted it later, but I don't think he deleted it. Oh no, no, he did delete it after that day. Yeah, he did. Okay. But that that's why I mean. I bet you like he was feeling super shitty at the time, and then kind of just. You know what I mean? Felt it out, and then deleted it afterwards. I I do. Th- I I wouldn't. I wouldn't go as far as saying like it was suicide baiting, like Echo said. I don't think how you would ever do anything like that. But I do think it was like, you know what I mean? Like a pity parade, like kind of looking. Yeah, it was a pity party. It's okay. It's a full full stop. It was a pity party. Yeah. I just think the fucked up part about it is that after that, he went after people for not like reaching out to him. Like when he said like that, I think that's when I finally like was done with Huggy. He went after fucking Maggot. And that Maggot Uh, never reached out to him. Maggot was uh, a big friend. Uh, Milltown says that was the whole here, reason she like uh, nuked him. Uh, uh, Burns, what's up? Do what? Uh, Milltown says here, and this all happened when Huggy slash Maggot sent Khawk shit that went went down. So did oh, so he that, also go after Khawk? So that um, was over I, at Bacon Slug and Perkin Tiger's mod in his stream because at that oh, part yeah. of Huggy's arc, well, Huggy, that Huggy actually had... didn't involve Khawk though. The Khawk stuff was oh, with the Khawk suicide Khawk. baiting because it was um. Maggot and K-Hawk. Everyone lumped those two together at the time. Your mic is a little bit low again. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, that, like, Maggot and K-Hawk were for, like, a long time always lumped together because, um, that was over, like, the Discord mod stuff, because that caused, like, kind of, like, a lot of people have different opinions over, like, Discord rules and shit like that, because Huggy had, um, he made, like, Park and Tigers a mod in his chat. He brought Slug in and all that. And then Maggie got pissed saying that she's not, like, going to associate with those people. Mm-hmm. And then she was fine to drop Huggy over it. And that caused yeah. the whole, like, guilt by association fucking drama. K-Hawk, I think, was only lumped into it because, like, she would call in as well with Maggie. And she basically had the same views as Maggie. Or as I like to call it, the Slug versus Maghuck war. 
Yeah. That's basically what that was. It was Slug versus Kayuck and Maggot we, well, for like we, we, fucking like, three straight months. Off. We strayed so fucking far off from like Burns's Milltown like meltdown. Well, well, so, that like, was the that was the Milltown meltdown right there. Is it like he? This is like after the Slug stream. Cause slug stream ended the like not Slug Send stream ended mm -hmm. like four a.m. You know, Send had some McDonald's you know internet problems what up until four a.m. Four a.m. Yeah, that's how like that's how late like that's three hours later. Fucking like, Meltdown has this shit about Huggy, and like that's why I wish Huggy was here to talk about it. Cause I know Meltdown was here fucking like roasting the shit out of fucking Huggy, bringing up his suicide baiting. And, I don't like, think he's suicide baiting. I think he was attention seeking, but not suicide baiting. Yeah. And yeah, it's just funny know. that like Milltown last week was that. like I don't even think all. Huggy realized he was doing it was the thing. Nah, suicide baiting just, nah, suicide nah, baiting implies nah, intentional nah. though. I think Huggy's well aware of what Huggy does. I will say that. I think he's very self aware of like how he acts. I just I don't I don't think Huggy looked at it as suicide baiting though. Like no, the, uh, I, you get you get what I'm trying to say. That's why I'm saying I don't think he was suicide. Dude. Yeah. That's why I say like he was like 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 he suicide. he was probably being a little bitch that day, but like I don't think he was ever trying to point out to people that he was going to do it or was like, hey, wink, wink, nudge, nudge type shit. Well, I don't know? think like suicide baiting ever has to be like intentional. Like you did it on purpose. It's yeah, like, that's it's it, that. it's suicide like repeated. baiting implies that you're you know what you're doing when you're implying this shit. I think he was just Not having a really, really like bad some, time. Sometimes people think that they're actually going to do it, but then it's just like a history of like, they say they're going to do it, but they just never do. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is, is Huggy also like says shit and doesn't think about like the consequences of the things that he says. So, yeah. Uh, Huggy is telling me like, does he not have access to this channel? Oh, wait, did you oh, ever get back your the, server? the Wasp Mashers? He left the yeah, I remember he left. Yeah, so I'll have to. Dude, yeah, you're, you're, you're no on the shitty on Huggy. Like, Huggy. Hey, it's like, dude, Huggy's not joining. He's like, dude, I can't join. Help. Wait, Huggy, <laughs> we're... he's in my DM saying, pull him in. Pull, let me in for fuck's sake. You slurry little dingleberry. I swear to God. <laughs> Wait, how long did you guys shit on him? Yeah, he's in streaming. He's in stream waiting room. Okay, I'll pull him in. Yeah, I forgot he fucking <laughs> left. And then, <laughs> I had to give him a roll one moment. Well, that's good. I'd, like we can get Huggy's opinion. On give him a shithead roll. No, I'm no, just kidding. He, gets, uh... he is a shithead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. There, he has wall smashers. Now. Guys, let's talk shit about Huggy before he comes in. No. <laughs> All right, Huggy. We're right. Huggy, we're oh. we're talking shit about you. I'm gonna be honest. We're talking about we're, we're talking about Mill Towns. Um. Kind of really? Like, really? Yeah, I'm being honest with you, Huggy. Do you okay. want me not to be You're honest? You're a little with late, you? man. Do you want me to be a fucking pussy foot around this? We're talking about Milltown's um oh, gosh. messages he made about you. Uh -huh. Regarding like the tweets that you made after like World War Huggy. Were they after World War Huggy or during World War Huggy? The, there was one tweet. No, 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 there was I think there was one tweet. We're going like, romance one. I'm sorry. Listen, can 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 we can we cut the shit with the my kind of romance shit? It was just a fucking. It was. I was just. I was just sad. I was just fucking sad because of bullshit. Is that my chemical romance tweet? I was just fucking sad. That's what I was saying. Jesus Christ! Fucking my chemical romance. But and why look, is Madwick, like Madwick, your mic's been really low, by the way. Okay. Yeah, that's a, that's I told him again. But okay. Huggy, like, what did you do? Like last week, Huggy, like Milltown was like. Defending you and everything that you were saying to fucking Rev, and now like now he's acting like you pissed in his Cheerio, shattered his fucking milk. I def because again, initially on my stream, right? This is exactly what happened. Okay, I initially was arguing the fact that both of these two idiots are fucking deranged. Rev fucking took money from from the skit show, but yet. Darcy the fucking mental case because he faked the whole suicide thing. Right? And he's dropping DMs like, like the bombs over Baghdad, right? So then when Slug came in, Slug just totally nullified the whole Darcy point by saying that no, Rev won, Darcy fucking won. Uh, Darcy is uh, Darcy's a piece of shit. 
to his thing, to his point of view, he, okay, great, whatever, because there's a bias with uh, Darcy. I took that case, I took it to like, okay, yeah, I could, because yeah, because it's fact. Darcy lied about the suicide thing, and granted, the argument could be made, how do you say something like that? It's not me. The fucking VC that flatly recorded where everyone was asking him the questions about the suicide attempt looked shitty. It looked so fucking shitty. And again, if anyone that you know or anyone or you personally, if you want to assume, if you were going through really dark things in your mind, why would you then go into a VC full of fucking savages? And I say that with love and respect. Actually true. Why would you go why would you go in, in a room full of savages waiting with bated breath to fucking rip you apart on nonsense to drill you on the, on why on the semantics? Listen, listen the I semantics mean, like, in, of your suicide. In fairness, I but I think I think the smartest thing Darcy could have done was uh, not go stay in. The, like, stay the fuck in, stay the fuck off the internet for like Echo. a month. But Echo, you you built differently because I feel like Echo, if you if you went through a dark part in your life, right, you could you but you could say what you feel. You could justify what you said, right? I believe in that, regardless of how we feel about now or in the future. I'm saying this right here, right now. You echo would you would uh, uh, justify your reasoning for how you feel? Okay. The thing is, is that Darcy said I had a major car crash. I was thinking about suicide. I had drugs in my system. All this other stuff. So, anyways. M Milton, Milton is giving me shit for being disingenuous because I'm saying that Mil that Darcy's not fucking have have the hands clean again. We Which is true. Not, Which is true. Again, let's not fucking forget, folks. That fucking Darcy was the butt of everyone's fucking jokes. And if people tell me otherwise, you're fucking lying to me. Every motherfucker on this platform was 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 giving suicide baiting jokes. And now all of a sudden, now you have the rap situation. Now all of a sudden, it's okay, it's okay, it's now okay to bring up the fact that Darcy is suicide baited by by such Broadway fashions. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, please. Yeah. It's, yeah, like yeah, you said like, what, before. It would I mean, be like, what's more real, Darcy hitting the tree or Rev's paying his bills? But, <laughs> but you see what uh, I'm according saying? to Milltown, though, the car uh, accident was real. Okay, I don't okay. believe it, Victor. Victor, but my God, I'm, not, I'm not saying whether or not I believe that. No, I'm no, no, saying, no, 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 no. I'm gonna tweet it out. I'm gonna tweet at Milltown. I don't believe Darcy tried Victor, to kill himself. I want Victor. Listen to me very carefully. What I'm about to tell you, okay? Let yeah, listen that, up, buddy. Let's just say the car. Take let's say the car. Lesson. Let's say the car accident in Israel, right? <laughs> the the Darcy then said, "I was having a brain hemorrhage." Two now, two brain hemorrhages now. Flatley, who plays hockey, that deals with brain hemorrhages, went like a scientist because he personally felt this. He personally went through this himself. If you had a brain hemorrhage, bro. So was your so was your camera and so was that your eyes got blown out. Your eyes your 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 eyes should be fucking bloodshot. Like oh, yeah. blood red. I'm the, sure I'm sure Flatley's concussion retarded enough to know how that works. The yeah. motherfucker but, but but bro, he then decides to go on camera like a fucking re re, right? And his eyes are not fucked. Nothing on his body is fucked. You have a car accident. Mm -hmm. What happened to you, you you Wolverine motherfucker? Like again, it's not what I say. It's not what we say. The dumbass is going to go on VC and expose himself to the world. Like, uh -huh. come on. Well, yeah, sorry. Yeah. What, what what are you comparing a brain hemorrhage to? Are you trying to compare a brain hemorrhage to a concussion? 
I've no. I've had a lot of concussions. I've no, been, like, that's hospitalized. What? But... Okay, what I'm trying to say to you, flatly was explaining about that aspect of it. He... Dar Darcy would be in the ICU if he had a brain hemorrhage. If he was in the two. ICU, yeah. But Darcy said two. they had two. Darcy said they had two brain hemorrhages. Bad way, but bad way. On, but they're on Discord the same day that like, I mean, this no, happened. Not, that's why I said, like, I <laughs> work in this field. That's why I'm like... <laughs> bad way. Yeah, like, we're on your side, Huggy, on that. We know what's up. Like, pretty Bad way, you not... and Kaylee, like, if Kaylee was here, but I said to Kaylee, Kaylee... Uh, actually, does not say what Kaylee would say, because I think she had a totally different opinion than us. But the point is, Badwick, oh. it, but Badwick, it was a brain hemorrhage. You're hemorrhaging from the brain. Why the fuck are you going to VC? I agree with you on that. It's like, come on. That, that, like, that was like, and well, I don't even really care about too much. So like, it's, it's, Dar, 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 Darcy said they went to the ER, correct? That's what he said, yes. Yeah. Or she, well, I'm like, sorry, if, whatever. Because Darcy's in Australia. So if Darcy went to the ER and uh, they had a brain hemorrhage. And they they knew that they they were because Darcy can't self diagnose himself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of like the problem with this. So if yes. they told him you had a brain hemorrhage, you, you're not walking out of there. Because if you said that you're walking out of there, they're gonna be like, "There's damage, and his like cognitive abilities are fucking affected." And he no was talking walk out with a brain hemorrhage. And he um, was talking when he was talking perfect. Like, look, they the do point. they do present differently. It depends on what part of your brain is like. Affected. But you. But it's a brain hemorrhage, bro. At the end well, of the day, he, uh, he would not they be said walking had, around. I agree with you. He would be in the a first, hospital. Specifically, they said they had two brain hemorrhages, though. They that's made sure to fucking emphasize that to me recently. That well, that's, no, that's, no, no, no. I didn't say I had that, two. I didn't say I had three. I said two. He, he, he. In my best opinion, he would not be out and walk in. Um. Also, like, I don't, I don't even think if they were in a hospital that the hospital would allow but, them to so, be on a phone or anything. Exactly, oh, he was on Discord. Funny. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I, I'm obviously not like a doctor or you anything. Can't take but people's things away. But you the can't. thing, but the thing but, is, is that look, people think I'm a piece of shit. Wherever you, yes. people want to think I'm a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. But motherfucker, don't, don't, don't let the fact that I'm a piece of shit get in way of fucking facts. Don't let it, don't let it get in the <laughs> fucking way that the mother that that throughout the couple of weeks you motherfuckers were shitting on this fucking retard for being yes. just for being a fucking idiot. So please, don't don't give me Huggies a suicide beta when the motherfucker went their Broadway show, fucking the Tony Award winning bullshit to totally. make the fuck. Also, okay, so. <laughs> Point two, I'm gonna bring up. I don't actually believe Darcy's story. I'm just, you know what I mean. I'm gonna present no. the facts and stuff. I'm not trying to argue with everyone in the call. I'm just saying, like, we're not we're, arguing. We're, we're not we all agree, people, right? Not. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> if you go into a hospital, they don't take your things away unless. You're and this is where I question Darcy's story, because if Darcy was checked into a hospital, arguably for the car accident or mental health, if you are going through a mental Ooh. health crisis. They are gonna basically. That's when they can form you and actually legally take your things away from you. I was, I, I wasn't and thinking so much like like taking things away, but like recommendations on like not using electronics next to your head where your fucking brain is or something okay. like that. I, I, I don't, I, I don't I know. If you have a brain. That's what I was saying. You're gonna be fucking under monitor. Like you're gonna be monitored. Yeah, you're like radiation be, from a phone. Yeah, yeah. Like maybe or something. I don't know. And Darcy was doing more than just talking. Darcy was yelling at people. Yeah, I so. would definitely not want you to be in a, in a like like stressed out if you were recovering from two brain hemorrhages. I I agree. The other thing I found suspicious was when Darcy posted the photos of the seatbelts. Seatbelts don't cause blisters; they cause bruising. And every I've been in accidents where seat I've literally had a seatbelt across my chest, a full ass bruise. I can tell you they don't bruise. It's, bruises. No, it's, bruises. Been, it's full on fucking bruises. As well, it's a bruise. Anybody who says they do blisters is bullshit. Now I'm sure like you're gonna you can find that one percent fucking case. That, but I, I think I, for that they would have to like pull your skin off literally for you to cause like a blister or something. I don't know. It, it's but I don't it's, think I don't think it's seatbelt causes a blister. Of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. I um I don't know that that's I stopped really taking Darcy's medical stories for any value in these like situations, to be honest, uh, because like there are a lot of red flags in it. And to be honest, it's something that no one can ever figure out because there is a uh, I don't know. I, I just don't believe Darcy's medical stories. I mean, I can argue like the facts. Of yeah, it, but the problem I is, though, is if you're going to lie about something that big. 
you could lie about anything that's smaller than that. Like I, I like and a that brain tumor kills your credibility than a fucking concussion. Yeah, and I and I've had like fucking eleven. I'm fucking arguably can't fly airplanes anymore. If my fucking doctor found out, um, you're so, fucked. Off. You're you're like dizzy. You're fucking disoriented. Like you get headaches from lights. You puke all the time. I get yeah. fucking migraines because of it. it you like brain hemorrhage you're, you're not like burn said you're not going to spend all fucking day on your discord you might get a call off to a loved one or a family member you're, you're not going to fucking be arguing. yeah your contact on phones and My electronics is going to be very very quick yeah like, i sounded like a fucking mongol when i was talking after my fucking uh, concussion for like a month i got fucking rattled and um that's what i don't like necessarily be- like believe with Darcy, from how severe they made it sound, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like the severity of it, it just doesn't make sense for like any Welcome medical back. standpoint how they would be up and about. Because, like I said, they can have their phone. There's no argument. They can have their phone fucking mm-hmm. with them. But like, it's just the ability to be like arguing with people on Discord, posting all these things on Discord mm-hmm. and all that. that shit. And then what? Sorry, I'm sorry. No, you put me off a good point because I could go on a rant about this forever. So, but the point, but like I said, the fact that at Milltown is give Milltown is turning back into hating Huggy all of a sudden. Okay, Huggy, let me ask. I you mean, this. in fairness, it's understandable though if they're best, like super besties with fucking Darcy. Well, okay, I'll give you that. Yes, they're super best friends, but again, it's uh, like I said, you like I said, that's your friend. God bless you. Going to ride with a friend till, till, till wherever. But like, don't then go around and think that my point is not validated. I'm sorry. Like, got like if let's just say I have a friend that 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 like to fucking uh, do do silly shit, and then people and then people call out the friend. Yeah, I'll defend the friend. But like, at the end of the day, a, a spade is a spade. Yeah, like, sorry about friend, that. My my friend my friend is a fucking D- DJ. Uh, like I can defend as much as they want, but like if if the fact is a fact, I mean, I, at some point I have to to come into realization of it. You can't you can't put blinders on to someone that just because they're your friend, you you had you can put blinders on that. That's not being a friend, in my personal opinion. Okay, I, I just want to spur I'm... the record to square it on this recording, Huggy. <laughs> When you made your depressing like um tweet because you were sad, it was because you were just sad and depressed, correct? That's it. Okay, no, I don't get fucking pissy. Okay, wait, wait. I, I, no. I, I want to. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I want to ask questions. Out, Huggy. First wait, wait. Of I want to ask questions, and I was probably the most first like. Of all, I was all the guy pushing that narrative strong. Um, Huggy, like I just want to know, like when you said like, when you said stuff like um like that rum saved your life. Like, what exactly did you mean by that? Did I, did I say rum saved my life? Yeah. You said it on a stream when, um... Oh, I don't know who yes, it was, yes. was trying to talk shit about, about rum. And you oh, were saying yes, something yes, along yes, the lines yes, that yes. she, like, saved your life. Yes, 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 yes. No, no. Because, like, I have I have conversations with rum. And okay. rum had, you know, showed me this poet that uh, we happened to both like. And I couldn't remember its name. My point is, is that every single time I talk to Rum about stuff, maybe in main, mainly not private VC, it's mainly in a group VC. But like, I get Rum. I Rum is like really been good to me in, in terms of like giving me advice, not advice, but like just talking things out. I give her, I give her props on it. It's the same thing like with Ember had done in the past. Bad we had done it like uh, like uh, many moons ago. One one to you, Huggy, before when I thought you were in like. A I'm giving you credit, Badwick. No, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying what I want. <laughs> what I actually want to just get to the bottom of this situation, Huggy. Oh like, fuck! You were you were just, like you made that post because yes. you said you were feeling like shit. I yes. I don't think you were suicide baby. I think you were just like kind of seeking attention and for people to pick you up. And be like, oh, it's all good, Huggy. You're no, you're no, great, I Huggy. okay. What what's your take on it? I will say no. Let me just make it perfectly. Whenever I do these, whenever I I express myself, I and I and I hold it way before commentary, and I okay. hold this now, and I hold, hold it out there. If I write something, I'm not expecting 
I'm not expecting anything. Honestly, I'm not expecting anything. I just want to write. If people happen to come across it, and then they decide to ask me about what happened, I'll be honest with them. And I'll so say how I'm about it, but you're not doing it for any like particular. I'm not doing it's it. It's like more of a vent. Like you're just, it's just more of a vent because okay. because I came from a point where I used to write in blogs and not, I mean I have my own little I blog. Say, I, I already made the comparison to a 13 year old girl on Facebook, Huggy. It's okay. I, I get where you're coming from. With it, that. But <laughs> it that that's fair. Like if you, but that's fair. But like I, I, I mean, I said you were being a little emo bitch, but I mean that that's just but, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd rather also, be an emo, but listen, I'd rather be an emo bitch than 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 than, than for me to like hold things in and then not process it. I the way I process things, honestly, it's just I write. I write, I look oh, at it, I I no no here's the thing. I write, I think about it, I go to sleep, I wake up, and then I just feel a bit better because I got off my chest. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. If well, if I could give you two things of advice though, A, it's probably not a smart move to to do that to the open internet because that's an opening to get mocked by a lot of shitty oh, people or or you know like, stuff like that and, wait wait, and, wait wait like darcy like uh i'm excuse, excuse that, me no just excuse people who want to laugh at you for whatever reason excuse me sir people yeah, who may yeah. not like you i respect and, i respect that but victor darcy did a broadway show let's not fucking forget I'm not, that i'm not talking about darcy okay I'm just talking about like people who don't like you in general, man. Like I don't I, I like I I get it. I get needing to have an outlet and everything. But like you need to understand the commentary community is full of people that are just like they'll take your pain and turn it to content, man. Like like that's that's how it works. I, I like not everybody, but like I'm not yeah, I'm but like I said, I, I'm very con listen, if people like I don't even remember my other point. If people, if people, let's just say for the sake of argument, if people like Echo ran, ran, ran the narrative that oh, Huggy is is just a low emo bitch. You are. Fuck you, Burn. You fucking talk <laughs> Well, Fuck Huggy, yeah. I, I also just want to ask one more thing. Yes. Were you did were you like, and if it's too personal, don't answer. But then if you don't answer, then it's pretty fucking apparent. Um. Like, were you, were you like feeling like suicidal during that time? I'm not gonna like make fun of you or anything. Just like, were you? Were you? No, 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 no. It's a, it's not it's like not, not the internet stuff. There's a there's a lot more bull. Th th there's a lot more things I've I'm going through at the moment. Okay, I, that, I just want to. Ask. I appreciate you. Uh, that's you know, it. Talk. It's not. It, but I want to make it very clear. It's not because of the internet. It's because of loss. Oh. It's because of loss and regret. I deal with it a lot in my life. And again, people could be like, tee hee hee, huggy is a fucking emo bitch. I mean, honest, I lost people. I've lost some are very, very special to me. Very fucking special to me. And every fucking, and I haven't processed it. I haven't, I, I haven't, yeah, I haven't processed it. And I'm just living on life to, to try to be strong. As best as I can. But I still feel sadness. I still feel some sort of type of way. But like again, it 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 that's how it is. And again, people could be disingenuous, people could take me in bad faith. And and like I said, I can't control that narrative. All I know is that people ask me, Huggy, why do you feel why are you like this? And if I tell you and you still think of being bad faith, then then I can't, I can't change your mind. I'm like, it, it's whatever. <laughs> but I'll still, I'll, I'll still be there for you. I'll still be awesome Good to point. you. Like, I'll still be awesome to you. But like, if you, if you still think I'm being a bad faith person, it is what it is. So yeah, that's my thing. <laughs> I'm glad right. I got this. Of, of so there was thing. another thing, Huggy. And oh. that is everyone like saying that you're switching your opinions again. Switching my opinions again? Yeah, like how you would say something on Turd Island and then swap that opinion on like a different stream. I think it's because I think it's because I say like if I say something on Turd Island, okay, and and I say something on Turd Island and then I mull it over, 
I, I look at something and then I get and then I got another I never got a side of the fence on on something else, aka sl slug slug, and a slug has this point of view on it, and I'm like, oh, okay, th that sounds really interesting, and I'll work with that, and I'll go back and forth on it. Now, granted, it looks like a flip flopping, fine, whatever the case is, that's great. It's just that even if even if the even if slug is being so out of left field. I'm I'm willing to listen to the idea. I'm willing to listen to the thesis statement. Like like I said with the whole Darcy and Ruff thing, I I came to a conclusion on my stream that both of them are fucked in the head. Uh, Slug came out and he said that no huggy. Rev had the win. Rev got six thousand dollars. Rev deserved whatever the year. Darcy is a piece of shit. Whatever the case that's is, that's so fuck fucking him. stupid. Like Rev won six thousand dollars that he no that's longer has access. Slug hates to. Darcy, and because Slug hates Darcy, it doesn't fucking matter what the that, content is. It's just a. It's just it's biasness. No, no, I get you. It's biasness. I, I, because when I when I tried to make the argument that that maybe. Darcy had suicidal thoughts. Even because for someone to do the things they do, they must be suicidal. But they must be kooky in the head. Uh, so I was like, no, 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 no. I no. He's lying about the whole fucking thing. He's lying about the whole fucking thing. I'm like, okay, it's so like whatever the case is. Okay, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna fight with you. Whatever the case is, let's run with your narrative. Let's see where it goes. Where does the breadcrumbs lie? And that's it. And uh yeah, I Yeah, that's that's the problem though. The problem half the yeah. time Slug's narrative is dog shit. Like I'm gonna be honest. I think yes. Sometimes slug stuff sometimes sometimes a slug thing is dog shit. And then sometimes other people's things are fucking dog shit. Again, I come to a point where I'm looking at the most least dog shit take there is. Or I look at both sides of the argument, I, I I roll with both, and then I put the thing together and then I try to formulate an opinion. Because I don't want to be the I don't want to be like a Republican or a Democrat. Where it's like oh, one God. one side's oh, always right and one side's always wrong. Right. That's how I see it. And then I I'm not <clears throat> quantify I'm not qualifying slug to be the side. And whatever the case is, mm -hmm. I'll talk about anything. If it was like Victor and fucking Badwick, if both of you had two different opinions about two about a subject, I'll listen to both, and I'll come to a fucking conclusion. That'll be one stream where I'll be on the Badwick side. Well, Another you stream. I get your monologuing at this point. Yeah, bro. <laughs> okay, just I'll tell stop. me that. Just tell me you're liberal, okay? <laughs> I think everyone got has like the idea of what you mean. He's a fucking communist. No, I'm just <laughs> sorry about well, we that. Know, no, it's all it's all good. I, I just I, I think apologize on the like, No, I get it. Like like, like yeah, I get it. But Huggy, you and I have had conversations about slug, and and in all honesty, I don't like the fact I don't like the fact that he'd rather go for the throat than go for the truth. Like that bothers me sometimes. <laughs> like like I I don't know, man. I I have issues. I have issues with with you dating to slug a little oh. bit but like we've had conversations about this man i feel like you're an adult and you could do whatever you want at the end of the day but i feel like you're tying your rope to the wrong fucking wagon but that's that's just my opinion we've talked about this you're like, an old ass man just say it uh yes i'm getting there yes i've got gray oh here. shit i was about to say burns the youngest but no that's that's still a trident yeah well okay so let, let's like segue because like we're kind of like shit on huggy for a bit um, uh, what do you guys him. think about the uh, the Triton allegation that he's a pedo? Dude, oh, I can't God. believe he did that. Is there he's... proof of it? No, I there's no fucking proof. Stormy, Stormy, no, Stormy's just fucking trolling and Triton's for some reason taking it seriously. He is okay. taking it very fucking seriously. Dude, it's so retarded though because then um <laughs> then he starts going at fucking um this he starts going at, at is Storm, a calling him a fucking school shooter. It's like, well, dude, that's a serious allegation. Do you have proof? Triton is he goes, a no, no, I'm just. Head. What do you expect? No, no, he's like, no, no, I'm showing him what he's doing to me. I'm also, you think it's okay to do that? He goes, no, 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 I'm just treating him with his own me medicine. So <sighs> here, here's my question: uh, Who do you think is going to win that debate on Turd Island? I no one, dude. 
the audience is even going to lose. All right, it's not going to be entertaining. It's just going to be retarded. <laughs> no, no, the real I, loser I, is going to be the audience. We're going to sweep. Gonna dude, be, I'm going to come in, sweep it up. I will be. I I hope to be fucking right, but I hope it's Triton. Yeah, Stormy. I think, I think, Stormy I think tri- lost to fucking Flamenco TV hard. It wasn't even like fucking fair on how hard he lost. Wait, Stormy Flamenco. debated Flamenco. Yes, uh, yeah. he did a he, he did a like, I confronted Flamenco or I, I interviewed Flamenco and he was like trying to like debate Flamenco at a couple points on this fucking video, forgot his own points, let Flamenco <laughs> weasel out a lot. He didn't and then like even like Flamenco would press on like Stormy's like ability to like remember information and Stormy was like awful. <laughs> he like it wasn't even like fair like you like. You know, like when you like you debate flamenco to the point like you start spurging, that yeah. never happened. That never happened on the stormy debate. Mm. Well, he didn't even get even remotely. Spurred, he didn't even get like remotely mad at fucking is stormy, stormy at all. New, though, like, is he newer to the community? He's uh, because like he's, I, a, well, he's like, a lot like, older than me on this part. Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. Like, I I would say like compared to like when you like debated mr sen which was like one of your first like real debates and you kind of just like went into it but like what was like flamenco stormy's like first like big debate person maybe okay i don't i'm not easier than sen like you said you can like have that guy spurg on a fucking dime no no flamenco was like laughing and like having fun that's how like that's how fucking that's how comfortable flamenco was that's how like just like like Stormy just let him weasel and weasel out more than anything. Can can Stormy like take punches though, or does Stormy yeah like pan- yeah Stormy well yeah he started trolling punches. about the allegations that that uh supposedly Triton was throwing at him. He like I started calling him a uh, school shooter and killed kids, oh, okay. and then he goes, "Yeah, I did. I was at Virginia Tech." <laughs> and like, dude, that kind of flopped. Like if but... look. Like if 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 Trident, so if out. Trident really wanted to go at him, he would have said, "Hey, wait, you're saying that because I caught you sexting the 15 year old in my Discord." Like that would have been a fucking way better own. Okay. Like I I will admit it is kind of crazy that fucking um Stormy said that that he's sexting minors in his Discord because that's like crazy thinking that Trident does have minors in his Discord. So if you're gonna say that, it kind of just like kind of brush something up, but like. Trying to pretend yeah. that wasn't a joke is kind of retarded. People need to I don't, make their I don't, not yeah. I, don't, like, I, can, I don't really I have a also, lot of faith in I could, I could also see, like, trying this point, like, Stormy's trying to be, like, professional when it comes to, like, the tipster video that he's going to put out, but if he's already, like, fucking around behind the scenes with people, it can probably take down the validity of the of his video that's coming. But it's tipster. tipster. I mean... Yeah, it's tipster. Everyone's gonna be like, Look at I don't, I don't really, here. I don't really have a lot of faith in Triton in a debate, honestly, because I was a part of a debate that he had quite a few weeks ago, and he. Do you like Triton? Head. He's all right. Uh, he's fucking retarded, but he's all right. Like, he had, but, a, he, uh, had a, he had a debate against somebody named Rao or something like that, and God damn, oh, I he heard about the, that. He shit the bed. I had to come in there and like literally talk him the fuck down, like. Who I got involved in that. Yes, I got involved in that shit, and I was like, "Dude, you need to chill the fuck out. Like, you don't understand like what's being said, and blah blah blah, and shit." And then we had to have Rao come in and actually have this conversation. I wish I could find yeah. this thing. It's just like Stormy's. Like Stormy also did the same thing with Jalen, and also didn't really give J- like Jalen kind of steamrolled him again. So How like Stormy, same thing with Flamenco. He went like. Jalen was weaseling out of points, and Stormy, Stormy just has a problem with like pushing points. You know, I'm not I mean? even like trying to be like horribly mean to like Stormy, but like that, you're, you, those are some big L's, you know. Yeah, like if you have to like if you're in the debate, it's like when I didn't push Sen, bro. But like the entire debate, I, that, twice. that's a hard guy <laughs> to, uh, to sometimes debate against, especially if you don't know like what you're going in about, and especially if Sen's just kind of like in a like antagonistic mood. Yeah, he'll just like but, rail you up. But like what Stormy was not doing in like both debates was pushing his points. Like he would like say a point, meme a little bit, like whoa, about whoa, and then go back to the point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, this was so, okay. So it's inside chat. Oh, who? who okay, yeah. so. Everyone here in this call right now, who do you think is going to win that debate, Stormy or Triton? 
I personally I, I, I didn't know one. Hold, I'm gonna hold some faith for Triton. Yeah. Uh if he shows up because it like I don't know. If he if he ducks on it, he's not gonna look very good. Okay, well we have to be realistic. We have like two 18 year olds or like whatever the fuck, like two teens, like late teens fucking coming in to debate a stupid point when like neither of them could really like hold a conversation like that. To be fair though, uh what's his fucking name? Said he's gonna show up though. No, yeah, he'll show up, but it's like, dude, imagine showing up to a fight outside of school and like the two guys don't know how to throw punches. Yeah, it's like the two nerdy fucking kids. It's like fight. Yeah, it's so windmill boring, head. dude. Just dude, I'll have to go in there and fucking start knocking people out. <laughs> I mean, I'll be surprised know, if Stormy man. actually pushes points. That's that's the only well, thing that like not, Stormy okay. has a problem on. Is he just doesn't push points. He just lets people like he'll make a point, they'll deflect the point, and he won't like go in on him on that. Like, like when like uh, Fulmanko, the rape stuff when like one of his mods or friends was like getting rape threats, and he was like, "Oh, yeah, okay." Yeah. And like no, Stormy yeah, brought dude, that up. Was Stormy caught him in the corner on that, but like Fulmanko was like, "Well, that doesn't really matter." Which then then Stormy just didn't go go in on that. Like Stormy, if he actually had a dominating pers- like presence during that point, which he would have. Okay. He did. He just didn't. He just didn't push the point. All right. So like, since we're talking about like fake substance, you guys want to talk about real substance, actual well, okay, like drama? Because you want to bring up. I think we'll. Do, this will be our Dude. last topic for today. Yes. I, I've been quick, shaking before, with anticipation. Before we, before we go into this, can I can I just say that Rev posted something about an hour ago? I've been I've been watching. I've been reading. Yeah, um, seen it about dropping Is it about gay porn? Vlogs? Fuck off. He said, well, he's he, according to Rev, Rev gave logs to people that he specifically trusts, and it's up to them whether or not they reveal it. Wait, so Rev is violating his principles and morals? He said yes. that. Yeah, Burn. Dude, is that is insane. Yeah, Burn had a convert with him. Specifically, he said yeah. FB logs were dropped unredacted to a select few. The voices that choose to use the information to counter is up to them. If not, so sad. I went against my own policy, but let's just say so many people are in it. Uh, four little middle finger emojis. Why would he wait so long? To, like, and I said, where? And he says, I don't few. believe him anymore. <laughs> and then he said, select few, meaning people that matter. And I said, I don't matter. Crying emoji face. After last night, should you? I was like, well, Mal, dude, you're acting like we're like friendly on any level. Of course, I don't matter to you, though. I do hope you you drop what you have soon. Looking forward to your side with evidence. I do hope you understand why people don't believe words over screenshots. Because I don't believe people's words. If you like, if you could say like, oh, I had a good day, like, mm-hmm. like, like something like on that level. Of course, I'm like, okay, you had a good day. But if you're gonna have like a substantial, like, definitive point, you gotta have to back that up. Yeah, no, you know you're what not I mean? wrong like, with that. Absolutely, <laughs> I agree. Because he's making the like he was making lots of definitive statements last night, but then saying like, "Oh, I don't owe you," and I, I don't owe you the evidence. It's like, well, then I can't believe you. And stop yeah. calling into <laughs> calls and statements. Yeah, don't make don't make a definite you're statement not gonna if you're not opinion. willing to prove it. Th- this is my beef with it, though. If you're gonna call in and then make your like whole point in this whole situation, be like, "Oh, they're lying. They're doing this. They're doing this." But then when people ask you for proof, when the so like the arguably the side you're fighting with is providing proof on their points people are gonna say you're fucking lying or you don't have anything you know what mm. i mean like that that's kind of his fucking problem oh, that's, what we, that's what we brought that's what we brought up for two hours oh no almost oh. three hours last night on said street so who like... has a different opinion come on speak up echo <laughs> about what was that you it's or just was that retarded you? Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to be like, well, actually, no, this is no, how it should be. No, no I was just, 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 had... just kind of oh, knowing about the fact that Jessica Pizzle has entered the Darcy brain hemorrhage ring. Well, Wait. To be fair, there's <laughs> oh my not God, a lot of yeah. going on going on. Sorry, I fucking said going on twice. I fucking lagged. <laughs> That's that's oh. that Canadian like brain rot happening to you, man. Like it's just slowly. It's the French part out. of that. Oh, bonjour, <laughs> comment ça va? <laughs> bonjour, brain it's right just around. it's just the thing with like Darcy. It's like she's talking about like the Darcy stuff. Okay. Like when yeah. um Fish uh, posted that that she it, posted a fact that uh that basically one third of people who get brain hemorrhages die within the first month. Well, you can't like you actually so like when your brain bleeds, there's there's actually nothing you do for yeah, it. Yeah, there, there's which literally is nothing why you can I do. was saying like they absolutely would be under moderate. Like, you know what I mean? They would be under scan. They would monitor it. Because there's, like, things they can do to slow it and deal with it. Like, it's, they can mm. put you on a, like, they can clot. You know what I mean? They can give you medication to help form a clot or whatever. And means to 
arguably i don't know the science behind it but you know what i mean there's like ways to fucking deal with it but um you would not well, like the, just let out fucking walking the, around the biggest problem with like anything involving the brain is like there is a membrane a membrane that surrounds your brain that it's hard to break through like only like certain types of things can break through it and none of it is not, a lot of it's not helpful so no, like it, if you a have a brain bleed it's kind of hard to like try to like mitigate it when there's like a barrier around your head that's stopping your like med uh, like any kind of antibiotics like realistically speaking even if you like clear like a what's it called like suction out like the excess blood but you that, can't that, put a band-aid on the brain well, what you're saying though is way further down because you're oh, yeah, i'm saying like as, as serious as it could get has gone into a surgery this is like part of the problem darcy was well, on a fucking specifically Specifically, if Darcy had two brain hemorrhages to the point where it's like they were talking about like like they're having like serious fucking like medical issues. But like, like if someone like if they were able to to say Darcy had two like serious like she he specifically said that he had two serious brain hemorrhages. Like I don't understand how like they could get past that so quickly in such a like fast manner. Maybe Darcy actually has a brain bleed, and that's what's causing all this. And all of us are just shitting on this person who's actively just having. A I brain could bleed. believe that if Darcy was acting oh. different, but Darcy acted like the, the Edwin stuff too. If this circle keeps going, I'm gonna have a fucking brain bleed. Dude, wait, it's almost a month. We'll see. Oh no, wait, it's over right. a month. Never mind. Darcy go, survived. Go, okay. Hashtag Echo, Darcy lived. Uh, go go <laughs> on with your. Uh, all right, dude. Your, so there's this there's a small little there's a small town girl. All right. In the community, who has been <laughs> just you dude, she has just been just spurging, all right, the last few days because a specific okay. person joined her, a, a specific person infiltrated her safe space, all right. So, three days, two to three days ago, um, Flally was having a ridiculously long stream, all right, yeah. five hour stream where like people like Doug, Echo, Burn, um, uh, fucking I, Leia, we all like hop in every now and then, okay, um. So, Ivana is in the chat trying to, like, mend the bridge with Leia after, like, it being burned for, like, five to seven months. And, like, Leia has yeah. repeatedly sh** on her. Like, even when, like, during the drama, my drama with Ivana, Leia was ex excessively, like, shitting on her, saying she wanted nothing to do with her, that she's crazy, she gets so, like, yeah. all this crazy shit about her. And so, like, like she's, like, kind of harassing Leia and, like, Flally stream. Like, and, like, like, be my friend. Um, you have to be friends with me. <laughs> practically, yes. Like, oh, like we need to rebuild the bridge or like crazy shit like that. Why? Like, oh, why, why do you have me blocked? Like each other. I have I have no idea. But the thing is, like, if this was like a drama stream, everyone would have been totally for oh hey, Vonna, call in, like this and that. But we were just like it was literally a chill stream. It was just okay. a game and chill stream. We were bringing up like random shit. No one like there's really realistically like no drama was talked about. Like yeah. we didn't like break down, like, oh hey, wait, this tweet says this. No, it was just like shooting shit with the friend with the boys including leia but um what ended up happening was like she kept like her, like kind of like excessively like replying about leia to the point where like some other people were like kind of uncomfortable about it because like what do you do when like one of your one of the your chatters is trying to like excessively get an answer for someone who doesn't want to talk to them at all like leia even has ivana blocked so she can't even see her fucking like messages to the point where yeah. ivana's dming people to read it to leia on stream oh that's so now you're getting like a third party involved when they don't want to be involved. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's and just, uh, like, just take a fucking hint. You know what I mean? Yeah. So That's what ended up happening is like later that day, she tweeted about it. And then and then she made a tweet about like how like, oh, like this is I hate. Like, this is my pet peeve with the commentary community is that if one person has an opinion on you. Then others will just let them say that and not like try to stand up for you because like everyone sides with each other. That's why I like huge and Pika P because they're honest to God people and they, oh, dude, 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 she's like they're honest to God people and they actually care about like like what's right and they yeah, okay. they have morals. I'm like, so I DM her. I'm like, all right, I don't want to burn the bridge, but like if you're still like going to be supporting Huge and after the shit you pulled with Leia, like I don't want to talk to you anymore because like that's like insane, like that's insane to fucking like do that on a, on a public stream and to also like still support Hugin after all the shit he's doing despite the fact like i explained it to her before that he docks people he tried to like he he's like for life ruination to people like that he doesn't like and she made it all about how like i'm forcing her to like pick when i like literally said no like i'm i'm done i'm burning the bridge like there's no like 
there's, there's no friends here. We're not friends. That's that's it. Like I'm glad you didn't backstab me this time, but like I'm just done. I don't want to have anything to do with you if you're still going to be friends with people like that. So she kept making it a point that I was trying to, I kept trying to force it to not be friends with people. It's like no, like no, I'm choosing to not be friends with you. I don't care who you're friends with anymore. Okay. I just don't want you around me. So then she started spurging to fucking Flatley and Echo, uh, Chthonic. Yeah. To the point where like, Flatley stopped replying to her. Echo never read her DMs Burn, because it's you just know like this drama. Or were you were you in this, Burn? Oh um, no, Burns is gooning. Oh, there hold is. on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I got the answer. Oh, I was there. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, I was there on the on the stream, but we were all playing. We were all playing like Battlefield, so I was okay. more focused on the bat on the game than really on okay. Flatley's chat. Hey, you uh, guys but terrible. I mean, I know that I remember when like like Leia called in, but like no one really was talking about Ivana. I just recently heard about Ivana calling like YouTube chats a fucking safe space. That's retarded. All in the, like, the, like my chat's not anyone's safe space. Echo's chat is no one's fucking space. Your chat is not a fucking safe space. Don't like people's chats. You should not be like how holding it to that degree. Anyone and everyone will call in whenever they want. So like, if you have someone that you don't like, call in. And then you call it like you just violated my safe space. You're in my chat. You chose to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so, sucks to suck, I guess. What What's your yeah. opinion, uh, guys, about like blocking people in your chats? Like, if they break like a TOS, do you guys think it's like a shitty thing to do? Or uh, I'm all you pro TOS because I ex I want to have my channel. If okay. if if something like someone coming on the stream and saying something. Mm -hmm. like that's totally different than if someone's like typing in the chat and i can't like have no control over that like if someone comes on my stream and they like let's say slug comes on and he starts talking about like he starts doing the shit where he like he starts talking about like people that i don't really care to defend but yeah. i don't want him to spread bullshit that's probably not true mm -hmm. like i'll tell him like straight to his face but if he's in my chat i'm just gonna automatically just time him out or ban him for that day like yeah, i don't want that shit around me yeah yeah it's not even just a slug thing. It's any, anyone tries doing that shit where I don't want it around me. Get the, the fuck out of here, especially if it's against TOS. My yeah, chat if you're breaking like, TOS, man, they got no right to be in your fucking chat anymore. I'm protecting my shit. Yeah. Like, period. I, mean, I don't like, care what people think about it. I mean, right? a couple of like, weeks ago, like we had a guy named Yokai, and we fucking BTFO'd him because he doxed fucking Tony Hits. And then like oh, his yeah. friend the next day was in my chat saying my fucking name. Of course, I'm going to ban you. So, like, and like, of course, I banned him. And he comes on this like second account. Like, now you're banning criticism? Like, no, my fucking name isn't criticism, retard. I'm going to ban you again. <laughs> Don't come yeah, in my but, chat and then say my name. But, if but this is only the, that's only the tip of the iceberg with Ivana, right? That's yeah. just the tip, right? All right. So what ends up happening is the next day, like, I don't have her blocked at this point, all right? Because I just wanted to, like, all right, do you not do you know, pull her down? She's freaking the fuck out for no reason. Uh, she's actually sending me, like, voice messages. Like, she sends me, like, threads of fucking stuff. And then she sends me, like, three voicemails or four voice messages that are, like, two and a half minutes long each. And, like, I click the first one in the morning when I'm in a call with Echo and uh, Flally. And she's fucking crying. And I'm like, bro, why the fuck are you sending me voice messages if you're fucking like crying? Just get offline. Like, turn off the computer for a bit. Mm. Bitch, do a bitch cry because fucking I'm based, right? That's what it is. They can't <laughs> handle the fact that I'm just having my opinion. Like, she's acting like the Hugin thing is just her. Like, I only go after her for Hugin. Me and Leia burnt the bridge last year because she had Huge in her chat. And I was telling her, like, hey, by the way, be careful. This guy's doxing people. I'm not telling her to blind him or anything. Just telling her to watch the fuck out. And we end up burning the bridge over for a bit. Like, it's not just, it's not even just her. Like, I've even told Maggot when Maggot was friends with, or not even friends, when she was, like, close to Slug. Mm -hmm. I told her straight up, like, hey, just letting you know, this guy doxes people. He wants life for a nation. He, he talks about raping people. Just get FYI. Maybe you don't want to be around this, but I'm not telling you not to. And she goes, okay, well, if he does it again, like, I'm definitely out of here. And then he did it again. She was definitely out of there. So, like, it's not even just, like, I'm not even telling her to not be friends with, her, with him. I'm telling you, hey, I'm not being friends with you anymore because I already don't want to deal with this shit anymore. So then she starts, um, she starts for some reason making tweets about how like Emmy is such an amazing person after me and her have a fight. And I'm just like, dude, you're fucking retarded. You're talking about a person who actually fucking like violated my privacy to try to fucking fake, like, to allow someone to fucking like 
falsely accuse me of being a pedo. Like, how the fuck are you going to try to, like, moralize how this person's such a good person to you because they've never done anything wrong, despite the fact, like, I have people who are, like, who were friends with her, damning me, like, oh, well, like, or not even friends, but they're, like, they're, like, liked her. And they're, like, yeah, dude, like, she's cool and all, but, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know, dude. Like, after that, I look at her different now because, like, supposedly she was, like, enjoying her life offline while letting, like, slug maliciously fucking frame me as a pedo. And then she started going, I'm, I like, I quote to me basically like that, that fucking you're retarded because like, she's actually malicious and she tries to like, she goes on like a fucking tirade, like making like 30, like between like 15 to 20 responses and like bunch of different replies, not to each other. just like a bunch of like grenades all over the place. So for replies where one of the only, the main one I saw was her trying to frame that I, I asked Emmy when she, when do you turn 18? The day she turned 18, I started sexting her. And it's like, wow. dude, you're actually retarded because me and you have talked about this before. I told you about this when it was going on, which is why she went and defended me to Colton when Colton was doing the streams about me. She went to Colton privately, told him, hey, Echo doesn't just DM like girls. Like she doesn't d- 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 like DM like 18 year olds or doesn't wait for girls to take 18. He mostly goes for older women. Like if he talks to an 18 year old, it's not because she's young. It's because she just happens to be around. And she knows that. And she's going around trying to like, because we're on bad terms now, she's trying to like frame me as a pedophile because she doesn't know. And then she responds like, "Oh, well, I actually don't know what would happen, but I feel like that's what happened." I'm like, "You, what the fuck? Like, what kind of shit is this?" And then she goes crying to Echo, and then she goes crying to other people about how like Echo's evil and he's like malicious. He's trying to abuse me. He's trying to fucking like, like the craziest shit. And I'm just here laughing like, dude, this bitch is actually fucking. I just told her I don't want to be friends with you anymore because you still surround yourself with Hugin and you harass Leia. Like. The two simplest she things. Leia. That's weird. Well, yeah, she harassed Leia in that chat, trying to get her attention. Like oh, she was DMing. Like yeah, she was. Chat. Okay. Yeah, she like... was DMing fucking Echo to read out her fucking DMs to Leia so that Leia could be friends with her again. Like, yeah, like, like extremely me. fucking creepy at the very least, and then that's, getting that's like just getting mad about, about it. So shit right there. Yeah. So That's um, there's gracious fuck. So right? she, there's. I'm just letting you guys know this shit's gonna blow up ten times more because uh, her safe spaces aren't her safe spaces somewhere. I don't get that. What's what's the safe space? Um, Echo's chat, Flally's chat. They're not her safe space no more. Oh, boo! Yeah, fucking so, no. yeah oh, she hey, got demoted. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, no, but this do it to Ivana, dude. This is like fucking Hiroshima and Nakazaki coming in. But, like, just don't cause shit with stuff, like. You know what I mean? Like, Leia and I have our beef, but we're still, like, civil with each other and fucking other Yeah, like, I don't chat. see you going in Leia's and, like, no, other I people's chat no... begging for exactly. Leia's forgiveness. Like, <laughs> like if it happens, it happens. I... Do it as a meme at this point, bro. Go to Leia's chat. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna go rebuild my bridge with Leia right now. I'm gonna go in Echo's chat right now. Oh, <laughs> why is it, like, why is she making it such a big thing, though? I don't know, dude. It's just, and then she's trying to come off like I'm the one who's trying to start it. It's like, bitch, you fucking sent me 30 fucking paragraphs. I sent you like one sentence responses on the, on like just being Why blunt. Did, but Echo, you didn't give back all the, what happened to all the paragraphs, bro? You gotta, you know, paragraph for paragraph. Come on. I had to keep telling, like, I, like me and her had a call on my birthday because she was scheduling out about fucking SIGs because SIGs told her Sigs that I, that, Yes, yeah, dude, Sigs, dude, the guy who wow. ran for me. The guy ran <laughs> for me night. the other day. Literally. But um Sigs went to her saying that um that fucking um what's it called? Um oh my god, what was it? Um what is it? Fucking fucking train of thought like midway through this. Bunny. Dude, I had Bunny muted and somehow it fucking started playing and it fucking freaked me the fuck out. Um Are you fucking gooming while fucking in this call? This man is fucking bunny while fucking Dude, I just I just dude, I always had in Bunny's chat. I hung out in Bunny's chat in our last recording. What are you talking about? Dude, I don't even need a goon to be in Bunny's chat. I almost caught her gunny. Uh, fucking um, what is it, Benty? Dude, that's you. (laughs) Your gun wick. But um, C Six basically told her that I said that I said that she apologized to me for what she did. I'm like, no, dude. Like she's misinterpreting this. That 
that me and her like are still on bad terms. I'm like, no, she, we like she apologized to me and like we made up. And then I had to be in a fucking 30 minute call on my birthday while she's like spurging the fuck out and like on the verge of crying for no fucking reason. And I'm like, all right, dude, like I'm just being honest. Like I told her like straight up, like, you don't know, this is what happened, this and this. And then she's trying to relitigate the drama for no reason. I'm like, bro, like I got to go, dude. It's my fucking birthday, right? Yeah, why? Uh, Echo, yeah. If like I would have hung up in the 30 for, first 30 seconds, I wouldn't last 30 I, minutes yeah, like no, you. I agree. Dude, if, but like, I'm a lot. Scream, but the thing if is, I'm literally. on the phone with me screaming, like. Oh, no, she oh, wasn't screaming. Bye, she, she, was just, she was just. She was just being schizo. She was like going on long tangents. Dude, Bye, she talked. <laughs> dude, she talked yeah, for five minutes clap. straight with no breath. And I'm like, <laughs> it made me tired. Yeah, but you dealt like you just fucking like sat there though and like let her fucking scream at you. Well, because I said I would, I was gonna talk to her and I was trying to get my points in. It's like, all right. Why'd you just fucking dip though? That's the argument. Yeah, the thirty second. Uh, well, on. the difference, the difference is like I'm not going in there to like fight with her, just like, trying to hear her out. And it got to the point where it's like, all right, dude, I explained it to her and she still wanted to keep talking. So I'm like, all right, no, I gotta dip. Like it's my birthday, I'm celebrating it. I'm out. Wasted thirty minutes to you that much. <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, now it's a waste of thirty minutes and like fucking like. Didn't you guys and... go at each other before though? In the, like during this year, like um, what was it? There wasn't there some. Drama? Yeah, we were going at each other in like yeah. January, and then I d- it got to the point where I'm like, okay, maybe I'm oh, yeah. a dick okay, and poking at her the whole time. Right? You like gave her money oh. and then like it came forty bucks. She, yeah, and she was asking for money from other people. Yeah, well, the thing oh, why okay. we kept going at each other though is because she kept like. She would always pop up in my thing in my timeline. And dude, if you pop up my timeline and I don't agree with it, you're getting a reply. All right. I don't care who you are. It could be Badwick. It could be fucking Nick. It could be fucking uh, Leia something. Um, not yeah, Bunny pretty, though. You're pretty open about that. You're pretty. No, nah, Bunny's always right. <laughs> dude, it's true though. Anyways, like if someone pops up in my thing and I and I, I disagree with them, they're either hear, hearing it publicly or they're hearing it privately. Oh. Speaking privately, guess who fucking is trying to call me right now? Who? Ivana. No fucking way. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she texted me and I did, I fucking ignored it. Why is she Dude. so like, What is going on? Why is she I so have like, no what? idea. Texting me, I have no idea. I don't talk to schizo bitches, so. Wait, does she know like we're recording in uh, Walt's mouth? I have. I, I mean, she has to know. You fucking posted it. Well, yeah, a lot of us posted it. Yeah, but it. does like, she think like, does she think that, um. Well, I mean, like, does she think, like, you're just going to go into her on this episode or what? Dude, she said we we're going to make content out of it. And I told her, like, dude, we, we're yeah, not, right. like, we're not shit talking you to make content. You're making yourself content. Like, I'm saying it here because I don't want to say, like, this is Wasp Match. We talk about, like, the stupidest shit here, we right? Talk about whatever. We talk about the most yeah. inconsequen- yeah. inconsequential shit. Like, I'm not bringing this up on an Echo stream unless Echo, uh, Chthonic wants to bring it up. I'm not bringing it up on Burn stream unless Burn brings it up. Like I'm not going out of here and just Better like bringing it around. around. Yeah, yeah, well. this, is, this is hey Ivana, this is my safe space, right? I got to talk about whatever I want. Echo, maybe it's adopt the I don't talk to no schizo bitch rule. Okay, how about that? No, you know, I talk to everyone. Yeah, <laughs> not wrong on this. I don't disagree with him. No, but look at even <laughs> like only okay, well problems with this person. Why are you consistently talking to this person? Well, because we didn't have a problem for a month, and then just this shit came. Why I didn't not? like it. Cut, and burnt the bridge. Shit again. Well, it's well, yeah, know. no, yeah. It, it, well, it, the reason why, like, so it's like, so I forgave, so we forgave each other, and like, yeah. okay, like I forgive, like I forgive people all the time, right? Like I don't forgive Slug for what he did, but I'm not gonna keep going after Slug for what he did to me. Like it's gay. Like I just realized I was being petty with her. I kept going, continuing it when I didn't okay. really need to, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it, just squash this. I don't need to deal with this no more. Okay. So, hey. so basically, what happened is just I'm just done with her now. That's it. Like I gave her a second chance. She fucked it up. I'm done. We're gonna see. I'm gonna hold you to it. Oh yeah, no, she's fucking she's calling me. She's trying to talk to me. I have her blocked. Everyone in this call is gonna hold it to you. Huggy Burns. Is Huggy even still here? Dude, Huggy, Huggy's retarded. Look at him. Dude, <laughs> is Huggy dude, if you guys. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good. I'm okay, wait, wait. I'm I had to make your ass talk somehow. <laughs> Let's be honest. If it does happen again, you know what? I'm going to fucking swearing my way out of it. All right. You guys no, are going to get me on you it. You just need to claim. You guys you just need to have it and like claim it that you talked to this bitch again after everyone was like, hey, she's I mean, crazy. it's entertaining, though. 
Is it? Because you seem pretty fucking riled by it. You seem pretty like. Annoyed. I mean, just because I seem riled up doesn't mean I can enjoy it. But no, I get like, you know how... No, no, no. I, I understand that. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. it's like the same thing. I used to be super pissed in football, and it's just it's really fun. It's fun to be mad about inconsequential shit. It's not like she can like ruin my life or anything like that. Oh, we don't know. I don't know. No, that one. Dude, she can, no. dude, she can leak all my DMs again, and no one would give no. a fuck. Let's be real. I feel like you're used to that. Yeah. yeah well, it's because <laughs> you can't get me on anything because I'm like honest. Like, talking about you. But they can never get me because I'm always honest. Like, yeah, I did do that. So, like, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna unfollow. <laughs> nah, dude, bitch in there. Dude, you know who? I've only gotten one on un- one person unfollow me over the fucking uh, the Ivana stuff. Who? And it wasn't I, it was probably Ivana herself. <laughs> no, who was it? Someone said I was being mean to her. I'm like, dude, you're retarded. Oh, it was it oh, oh. No. Ah, fuck. I don't. Let me see. Is I don't that... remember who it was. I'm like, they must have refollowed me because I don't. Like I don't. See them in my replies, and I'm like, I don't remember who it was, but someone unfollowed me over it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm definitely not gonna say who it was because after the third island, they refollowed me. Like, okay, never mind. You're right. No. Say it. Say it. Fuck that, dude. Why? I'm on good terms with them. I thought you don't give a fuck. I thought that was like your whole like mo. No, I don't give a fuck when it's about me. I give a fuck if it's all about someone else. This is about. Well. Well, you see, like, unlike Rev, like, I do have a Wait, policy okay, that I so don't try to leak shit. Island? It's obviously a girl because it's Echo. So, yeah. what, <laughs> was it Abner? <laughs> no, it wasn't a girl. It wasn't a girl in the call. It was a girl that was watching. Was that that littlest moop, whoever the fuck that girl is? Oh, that Who the so fuck funny. is that? Uh, she was the one girl that came on. She's, like, called Flatly Q. Yeah, she's, she's been in my Discord for a long time. Oh wait, you're talking about fucking uh, Lotus? Okay, yeah, Lotus move. She's pretty cool. What what community is she from? Um, she's she uh, in- she told me she doesn't even know who the fuck you are. She said she probably joined your community on accident through Twitch. Right? Because she like she, I don't have any <laughs> issues with her. Like she's been in my Discord for like fucking almost a year now. But like, okay. yeah, she's just. Kind of, do you know her like from other communities? I asked Lamp. He didn't really give me an answer. Because I have to do more than I did, but he said that she came from some someone else. Well, no, yeah, she's just some random person who, like, she'll join, like, twi- like she'll watch streams on Twitch, like the person, join the Discord, and just maybe never talk in it ever again. Because uh, the other guy that joined, uh, he was, um, his name is Downstar. Uh, well, actually, his like original name was uh, Downstar or whatever, and uh, he was uh, one of the Storyfire managers. The other guy where he was like talking about, uh, oh, you don't know mental health, blah 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 blah. Yeah, that guy used to be like a manager on Storyfire because I uh, interviewed. Oh, damn, I didn't... Yeah. oh yeah, I remember you mentioned. Yeah, that. I didn't. I didn't realize him because he changed his um his Discord name, but he's Down Downcast Star. And he was like one of the main guys that ran Storyfire. Um, because I was talking to Peepaw about when Peepaw was talking about the Storyfire stuff on my uh, Minecraft stream. I was like, "Yeah, you can talk to him." He's like in my Discord and like somewhat active. But yeah, no, I was. Um, that was the other guy. He had like I guess he changed to a fucking Shiba. Well, okay, you guys want to hear? You want to hear what uh, Ivana sent me? What she said? Uh oh, where's the tea, bitch? All right, so I told her we done like that's it, and she goes, "Oh, trust me, I know that. I just don't want to. I just don't understand why you couldn't end it by just leaving me alone. I didn't go out of my way to hurt you. I left all the big channels so you can have all of it for yourself." (laughs) Echo W. Um, you couldn't even let me have a tiny hangout spot that had eight people who actually were cool with me and said horrible things about me, and even went back and read my tweets, and you completely twisted all of it and gaslit me into believing you. I made one singular comment about her, which said that I missed her, which was true, and then I left it alone, which she didn't. And then I name, uh, I name made another. Tr- I fucking hate she does this, but. I made another tweet saying shout out to Echo and Badwick for a great stream again. Somebody turned that into negative. That's not even, I didn't even mention that. What the fuck? And then took a tweet and had the nerve to go tell Echo uh, it was about him, which makes zero sense because he did, he never did anything. Like that's the tweet about me uh, saying that I've noticed people switching up and being nice to my face, but when I'm ostracized, they don't speak to me. 
uh, anymore was about a lot of people. The first one that came to mind was Doug. He always super sweet to me, but the moment people didn't like me, he cut me off and even bad mouthed me when he thought no one was recording. Was Which me? actually that's actually that's true though, by the way. Um, where I was in a call with Doug right now, and he goes, "I didn't say that about Ivan." I'm like, "Dude, you said that on Flash Five Hour Stream." And he goes, "Wait, that was recorded?" I'm like, "Yeah, dude, it was in the live channel." <laughs> that's funny. Poor Doug. Yeah. Doug sweating no. in his fucking boots. Oh. Dude, she's still typing, dude. This bitch is fucking. That was one Just paragraph. Block her. <laughs> block this kid, bitch. I don't know why you. She... Oh, I have her she, muted. It's her, just her medication will be filled tomorrow. Okay, so uh, you're my way. I can fix her. Look, I'm not gonna no, shit on can... like any of her, like anything else. I just think she, what she's doing right now is funny. That's it. But why are you still engaging? You should just. Dude, this it. is funny. Dude, you see, it's a funny part about talking to schizo. I don't girl. have any problems with her, but you know, don't talk to schizo bitches. Oh, you don't have problems? Uh, All right, I'm gonna say, hey, can you go talk to Burn? He's my my middleman now. No, after no. a call into Turd Island, we'll have a talk. Like we'll have a real talk. I'll I do not game, want to talk bro. to her. What the Why? Fuck? Why are you embarrassed? Because it's gay. I'm You're running on it. It's gay. Dude, you cannot gaslight me, right, dude? I am the gaslighter, all right? You see, I'm you see, Asher, Asher's actually I'm did, nothing you. I'm did, did nothing wrong. I'm gaslighting you. I'm bullying you. Asher's did nothing wrong, dude. That's why. I, I convinced her to believe Why can't we have podcast. King's cock sleeve in the call, bro? Come on. Why did you make her run away? We have fucking uh, Chugga Conroy's clock sleeve instead. Oh, had, fuck you, know, you, you trade, buddy. You trade one for another, dude. You can't have both. Wait, who? Right? Who's Chugga Conroy's cock sleeve? That's, that's Vern. Dude, oh, yeah, really? okay. He's I don't the know biggest. Of, I don't know. He's the biggest that. Chugga Conroy defender. Why? Who? Who's Chugga Conroy? Let's go into this. No, oh, we're good. <laughs> no, dude, this, <laughs> no, we're good. Dude, dude, this is nah. another hour, right, dude? Nah, it's All another right. hour. Just I explaining. We'll wrap it up tonight. All right. we, we've been we've been for a while. Victor Burns is fucking drooling on himself asleep. Huggy passed out after like two vodka cranberries. I'm listening. No, no, I'm listening to you. Guys. Just, just... Huggy, do Huggy you... sometimes <laughs> sounds like he drank <laughs> in vodka <laughs> cranberry. <laughs> Look, you know, I I I'm going to defend Huggy. All right, Huggy was knocking on the door for a good thirty minutes, and you left him out to dry. All right, you know how exhausting it is to knock on no, the disco I, door. I, I, I don't know what that fucking fuck yelling was you. outside. Fuck you. I already had a talk with Huggy telling him to stop fucking leaving my Discord because then he loses the permissions and then he wants to come back. Huggy, just fucking mute everybody. You just... you can't trust all right, you can't trust Badwick to remember what he did, all right? Right? Exactly. No, well he just leaves and they automatically loses the fucking role. I'm not and... leaving. Uh, I mean, it's good. Good. No, he can't no, tie his shoes no. without fucking falling over. The right? funniest oh. shit, dude, you say that, but small PP, the minute I left Echo's Discord as a joke and rejoined, he immediately mod like did all my stuff before i even joined the call again like it was like a matter of like 10 seconds he re-added it i'm not uh, okay huggy you gotta be you on gotta be on that one to ten, how drunk are you right now bro that was the weirdest thing i ever said out loud what'd you say <laughs> huggy on a scale of one to ten how drunk are you right I actually sobered up from the two. Oh, yeah, okay, three. buddy. Okay. I actually sobered up for you guys, all right? <laughs> I, I actually oh, get so pulled up, over, it's automatically a night in the drunk tank. Good night, guys. Good night, Huggy. <laughs> we, Huggy left. You were too fucking boring for Huggy. We ran him off! All right. Does anyone have anything, like, closing to say for tonight's episode? We went for a fucking while. Tonight. Um, well, should we just... I mean, we could just end it with, like, our favorite line, right? What? I well, know. I don't know, like a favorite goodbye line, all right? You're, you're like, like you know, like a call off sign, all right? Of, uh, of this show. Dude, this shit's you... too funny. Please don't be <laughs> French. Dude, she sent me a fucking three minute message. <laughs> oh my God. All right, everybody. Uh, Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Wallace Smashers. In the descriptions, you'll find everyone's YouTube channels. Go sub to go. them to make them feel better about themselves. Once again, thank you so much. And we will be back next week, either with less members or arguably more at this point, because every episode we have someone new or someone <laughs> less. So that's Echo been w. the trend. I'm trying, damn it. Well, to be honest, trying <laughs> Oh, wait, yeah, Victor's first movie. episode. What the fuck? This was yeah, Victor's first that. episode. He made it's it. Good. We popped his cherry. Now we I, can fire him. Victor specifically stayed up to prove a point that he showed up for the show, and then it we smells a little moldy. And then Triton, and then Triton didn't show, dude. Here. Triton's running. We know why Triton's running, dude. All right. Well, anyways, remember to keep your prostitutes alive, or I'll see you in the prison showers. Okay, that's a terrible oh, wow. final that, line, dude. That is perfect, dude. Fuck All you guys. Right.
Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye-bye.